when you buy land almost anywhere in the United States, your name is listed on a deed that not only lists you as the owner, but also lists precisely where the land is located. Anyone with the right skills and knowledge can find out exactly where your land is. We have a system that we use here in the United States, but what is that system and how does it work? Would you believe me if I told you that it was older than the Constitution? In 1875, the young United States had the task of organizing and distributing land that was in the West. Up until then, each state had its own system, which just created land disputes and general chaos and confusion. The Confederation Congress created the Land Ordinance in 1875, which created the Public Land Surveying System. It is essentially a giant grid, like in SimCity or Age of Empire. Each grid cell is six miles by six miles, called a township. Within each township, there are 36 sections that are a mile by a mile each. Now, as you can imagine, each section is really large still, with 640 acres. So many places will break down the sections into quarter sections. Each quarter section still has 160 acres. It's like organizing your Minecraft chest, but instead of stacks of cobblestone, it's land. <coughs> Land is often broken up and sold into smaller pieces. When you break up land or anything into smaller pieces, it's called subdividing. And the new smaller piece is called a subdivision. That's where the term subdivision comes from. When land is subdivided and the new properties are recorded, it often uses the PLSS system as a reference. The recorded deed will likely reference a quarter section inside of a section inside of a township. It's like the loading screen in Battlefront 2, where it's constantly zooming in closer and closer on a grid system. But how does a grid system work on something spherical like the surface of the Earth? Find out in my next video all about baselines.